1900, Max Planck, trying to describe the black body radiation, found an expression, but in order to give a physical meaning to that expression, he had to do what he called a desperate action, which was assume that energy is given in discrete packets, what he called quantum, instead of a continuum uh, way as it was thought at that time. In this lab, you're going to find Planck's constant, which is in that equation that Max Planck found, which is a very fundamental uh, constant in nature and we need to take that into account that constant when we're talking about the submicroscopic world when we're talking about quantum physics. In order to measure to determine the constant you will use a set of eight LEDs and then using those LEDs you will be able to study the relationship between the current and the voltage at the LED and from there you will be able to uh, determine Planck's constant. This is the experimental equipment that you have for this lab. You have a box with eight different LEDs. Uh, be aware that two of them work in the infrared uh, spec side of the spectrum. We're talking about 818 nanometers and 940 nanometers, so you cannot see by eye, but it doesn't mean that they're not working. And you're going to increase the current going through the LEDs and register the voltage. We'll do that with this ammeter and this voltmeter. And by just increasing the current, you will find that the voltage and the current are going to increase, but you will find a particular point where there's going to be a sharp increase in the relationship between the current and the voltage. You have to study that particular point because that's the moment where the LED is it's beginning to emit light and that's the point where you are going to want to register that energy which you will use in, this, in the following step. This is the type of plot that you will find if you plot the current versus the voltage. There's an increase in the current but suddenly there will be a sharp increase and right at this moment is where you have the LED which is on and you want to determine the energy here. The energy here, you can call it V0, and because the energy is equal in this case to E times V, where E is the electrical charge of the electron and V is this voltage that you are measuring, you will have one value of V0 for each one of the wavelengths. Then using Planck's relationships that tell us that the energy is equal to h times v, the energy of the photon is equal to h, which is Planck's constant times the frequency, you can relate these two expressions and figure out a way to determine h constant. You have eight different values for the eight different frequencies or wavelengths, and you should be able to find Planck's constant, of course, with this corresponding error. And now, if somebody asks you what's the noise that two electrons make when they collide, you can tell Blank. <laughs>